Hello, it is Monday. No, it's not Monday. It's Tuesday. Wednesday? It's Wednesday, the 1st of July. I think that's right, which makes this day 31 of notes from a Scottish author. I'm here proudly displaying my Space Team uh, COVID-19 face mask, which uh, apparently protects me or protects others from me when I go into supermarkets and stuff. And I realised I had it in my pocket. So I thought I would show it off. Um, today is a bit of a, a brief one again, unfortunately. Today's been mental. I have... Uh, I've got very little done today, really. Uh, this morning, my daughter's school was having a little kind of parade thing where pupils lined up, socially distanced, and the teachers all kind of drove past. Because the teachers haven't seen them in, in months now other than online so the teachers drove past this should be the final week of school the teachers drove past with balloons in the cars and honking the horns and flashing the lights and playing music and there was a piper piped them in and all sorts of stuff so we spent a while there me and my daughter got to see some of her friends which was nice I've been keeping in touch with them online but it's nice to see them in person um, so did that and then we had to do shopping for a neighbour and then one of the elderly neighbours we do shopping for had a, had a problem that required me to be on the phone on hold for an hour trying to sort that out. And I've got not much done writing-wise. I was up late last night again, even though I was exhausted yesterday. I was up very late last night dealing with um, uh, a, a company in the United States, shall we say, and uh, had to bounce a lot of things back and forth. So I was at one o'clock this morning. I finally got to bed after dealing with that the joys of time differences and then up and about today and uh, and here we are trying to cram everything in dog walk video get some writing done i'm about halfway through my day's writing but it's almost five o'clock in the evening now so i still have a while to go i'm only about 10 minutes into the dog walk so ages to go on that front um the today first of july uh two nice bits of news one is that a litter of bones the audio version is uh, a daily deal on Audible US, which means it's on special offer for members of Audible and gets promoted to all Audible members, which is very nice. Uh, and secondly, The Last Bloody Straw, the fifth J.D. Kirk book, is number one in Amazon Australia on, on Kindle. It's getting windy, I'm hoping you can hear this okay. Um, so yeah, it's number one, which is nice. Uh, I think that's my third Australian number one overall. Good on you, Australia, and particularly to uh, Penny Willow, my number one Australian fan, whose birthday it is today. Happy birthday, Penny. I was going to sing, but um, you don't deserve that. Uh, nobody deserves that, really, so I won't. Uh, but I will say happy birthday. hope you have a great day. It's probably over by now, Australia, isn't it? You, time difference, you're probably on to... God, it's probably a week on Thursday now. I don't know what how it works over there. But happy birthday for today, UK time. Anyway, and now, before the wind gets up too much, I'm going to carry on with the dog walk. Quinn is here, waiting very patiently. Uh, and I will be back tomorrow, probably from the office, where I can talk a bit longer without my arm getting sore and the wind disrupting everything. Um, so yeah, back tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day.